Strong markets remain the name of the game. Equity and credit performed very well in October. Credit markets are still being helped by strong liquidity from fund flows as well as demand from investors for new issuance. Credit spreads continue to make new lows. Equity markets are also the beneficiaries of good demand uh, and strong liquidity conditions. Earnings season for Q3 has just kicked off and we will update on its progress between now and next month. One area of weakness has been Treasury markets. US bonds have weakened into the end of uh, the month as the markets begin to reassess inflation prospects in the United States, perhaps fueled by fears of tax breaks causing a larger deficit and full employment eventually having the effect of increasing prices. Our take on this is that the immediate risk of a Treasury market sell-off is limited and thus poses little direct risk at this stage to the equity market. Even the mild weakness of the last two weeks of the month still does not bring the market in line with the Fed's view that rates will be hiked once more this year and possibly as much as three times next year. The same factor, namely some expectations of a reduction to the US corporate tax rate has helped, not hindered, equity market sentiment, particularly uh, in US stocks. We remain skeptical of the possibility of a full-scale tax overhaul. Uh, a reduction in the overall rate will be helpful in the short term, but longer term benefits may be hard to come by uh, in the absence of deeper reform. While asset allocation did not change this month, we highlight in some of our research the possibility that the capital expenditure cycle is showing signs of life in some markets. This is consistent with our view to look for sectors that offer value in an environment that is generally quite challenging from the point of view of valuations. We continue to urge investors to be careful of overvalued sectors and keep digging for value in areas that have underperformed the market. For more details, please read our monthly investment guide for November titled At a Crossroad.